Today's video is going to be another one on the 120 grain nozzler ballistic tip .264 caliber bullets. Go check out SubMOAShooting.com. They sell these little sample packets. You may be able to save yourself some money in load development. And today we will be shooting these out of the 6.5 Grendel. Left its tip in there, but just tumbled. Came flipping out the top. That one was definitely too low a velocity at 1,128. So speed it up a little bit here. same results with almost identical velocity a couple grains extra powder didn't speed it up this time I'm gonna try one more load I got loaded a little hotter yet see if we can get it to open I did test these in my 6.5 Creedmoor down around 1500 feet per second and they did mushroom and did create a decent permanent wound cavity the uh, core did separate from the jacket at that lower velocity but overall wasn't bad let's give this one more try and then we'll flip the blocks and do a higher velocity shot open up there is the jacket right there separated from the core right about there is where that lead came out I'll see if I can find that here in a bit unfortunately we got air reading on the chronograph so I do not know what that velocity was nozzle rates these down to 1800 feet per second even though yes they will operate a little lower than that in the .264 caliber 120 grain ballistic tips I would still suggest going with nozzle's recommendation and keeping your impact velocities at or above 1800 feet per second.
Yeah, that one opening up at about the 7 8 inch mark. From the 1 inch mark to just about the 9 inch mark we have. Pretty good overall permanent wound cavity where it tapers down and carries some decent to just past the 12 inch mark. Where then it looks like pretty well pin lines and the leading edge is 21 and 3 8 portion of that permanent wound cavity is three and a quarter by three and a half. velocity one that opened up a little bit here where we have about two and a quarter inches of penetration then it's carrying decent permanent wound cavity from the three and a half inch mark to just about the ten inch mark where then it veers and goes out the other side of my gel block the better portion of that permanent wound cavity is roughly two inches velocity load I was going 2,492 feet per second in something like the Grendel definitely not a bad performing bullet I've been using on and off my Grendel for whitetail management hunts uh, shooting cup and core bullets and I've had no issues with them, but I also don't shoot past 100 yards. This would be a good bullet for that type setting. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and pull this bullet out and show you guys quick. Definitely not, not terrible performance. About what I'd expect out of a hunting line of a cup and core bullet. 